Arizona's choice for the U.S. Senate could affect who controls the Senate because the margin between parties is just that close. Voters chose Mark Kelly for a two-year term to fill the vacancy left by the death of John McCain. Now he is running for a full six-year term. When we asked Mark Kelly what he sees as the hottest of the hot-button issues, he cited the economy and his efforts to lower costs for average Arizona families. That's why things like the CHIPS Act, which I led on to bring semiconductor manufacturing you know, back to the U.S., specifically to Arizona, will have an effect at some point. Uh, but we still uh, today need to increase domestic oil and gas production. That's why I told the administration you know, last year that they were wrong on this. Kelly says he pressed the Biden administration to release oil from the strategic oil reserve and to make more oil drilling leases available. Some analysts believe the Supreme Court reversing Roe versus Wade and state law banning abortions in Arizona will drive moderates in general and women in particular to the polls. Kelly says he wants abortion rights restored. Now women in Arizona uh, cannot make this decision on their own and some politician like my opponent, you know, wants to make this decision for them. Um, yeah, I think this issue is a, a big deal in this, uh, this election. It's about liberty. It's, it's about a constitutional right that has been taken away. Kelly says he fought the Biden administration on border policy he sees as bad for Arizona, like Biden's move to end enforcement of Title 42. Title 42 allowed faster deportation of undocumented border crossers. And Kelly says he worked to boost security at ports of entry, where most drugs come in. There's 12 lanes down in Nogales. Only one of them has the low-power X-ray machine that detects fentanyl. As we rebuild these ports of entry uh, with money from the infrastructure, the bipartisan infrastructure bill that I was involved and critical in negotiating, every one of those lanes, at least most of them, if not every one of them, is going to have that technology. And Kelly says in a political world perceived as angry and polarized, he's been able to reach across party lines to do what's best for Arizona and the country. It is easy to find partners on things that make sense. And uh, that's why in the 20 months I've been there, we've passed five major pieces of bipartisan legislation, infrastructure, chips, gun safety, postal reform, veterans health care, and more. I mean, that's, that, that is really delivering for the state of Arizona. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.